Yo, what's up, fellow Pawners owners out there and other Dragon Nesters as well? Momo Jean here bringing you another episode of This is Serious the Business. Right now, I'm sorry, this is another audioless solo run on Dried Marissa Spring on Abyss Mode. <laughs> there you have it. So, right now, as you can see, I am speeding up right now. It's time, uh, it's times two, uh, forward, eh, forward, times two play speed. And I am playing my defensive paladin. If you haven't already know, and you can see Mr. Goblin there is running along with me. And I tell you, uh, it's not really advisable to get this quest uh, running while you are playing this mode because, as you can see, Mr. Goblin runs ahead into battle. And when I taunt them and I go into space of stance, look at him! Look at him! Palm! He falls on the floor, and I fail to save him. Thanks. Thank you very much, Goblin. Yeah, I knew I knew you were a tank type. I did. I yeah. <laughs> just go, just go and play easy mode to finish that quest. Seriously, it's not worth. I was like trying. Uh, wait a minute. Then I thought, oh, the enemies have AOE attacks. <laughs> I'm dead. And yeah, and another thing here is, you as a defensive paladin, this you are super effective on this map, hands down. The monsters here are mainly those kind, uh, those kind of mobs that attack you, uh, rapidly. Yeah. They have tons of ghouls, red, the red ones and the um, white ones, which are called ash ghouls. And they have those wisps, which they spin, 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 whack, whack. Look at me, my faith of stunts. When I pro, when I, when I space that baby down, I tell you, ho oh, oh, that yellow, that yellow counter attack just, just keeps flashing up until like for 16 seconds. <laughs> Easily, I can thin the mon, the the enemies out. I love this map, and yeah, and if you haven't already know, this is actually the, I mean you should know, but this is one of the series of, um, what map is it, Foothills of the Dark, I'm oh, sorry, not Dark, the Foothills of the Black Mountain maps, yes, so the theme here as you can see is similar to, um, what is that, Abandoned Hollow Welton, Abandoned Welton Hollow, yeah, somewhere like that, you see this uh, pale looking grass, Waving around, some wooden fences, some abandoned shacks, this weary looking trees, yeah? But you know what? It still looks fresh. You know why? Because the design, the map design, they made it fresh. It's now, now you're, now it's not just like you, you stay at a valley, you transition, you start, uh, not valley, sorry, you, you don't, you don't stay at the foothills, you tr slowly transition, like, that's like a, it's like you're climbing the, the, the hill or right, the back, the mountain. So you, that's why you see there's more like terrain and you're on the cliff sides more, most of the time. And look, look at that, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Those ghouls, they just like to, mm, just, they just like to chew on you. But your shield, mm, it's just gonna, it's just gonna punish them back. And I tell you right now, even though, I know some of you do know, um, do tell me and you do notice that I take a heck of a long time to finish the maps. This is on fast forward. You guys definitely know your map. I'm like, oh, this map, this video is 10 minutes. Fast forward, uh, twice the speed. Oh, Momujin, you took 20 minutes to finish an abyss run and you're level 33. Mm -mm -mm, shame on you, dude. I'm a defensive paladin. I do not ditch any. Look, I missed that, that rune shot, right? The fail, uber fail. Right? So, right, I'm here. I'm, I think I missed this one as well. I don't know. But anyway, right? Uh, I am not. I can't ditch out very a lot of damage. In fact, uh, this morning, I think before this game, right? I managed to play it with Chong J. <laughs> yes, finally. I'm. Uh, he is he, due to some connection. I mean, some. I don't know. But basically, he can play, and I managed to play with him. He's he's dealing more damage than me, and he's like level twenty four. So I mean, they do. He does tease me. They're like, oh, you so you just a mid tank, but you know what? I'm happy being a mid tank and a spot. <laughs> but I can tell you, I still enjoy soloing. You know why? You look at the look at the skills I'm doing. I'm I'm basically like, um, I'm not tearing the enemies apart, lah. Definitely like mowing them and owning them. No, but you know what? I am using my intuition and my game, my my reactionary skills. For gaming and owning like the creeps I am like look at that. He was like trying to go away, right? 
the what's that called? What uh, down now anyway, we're down at the second stage. And that first stage, believe me, it took me ten minutes. And like, whoa, what? You freaking noob. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I just use um Shinbreaker. After I dodge, I counter attack back. Works well. I usually dodge like um uh, you most of the time my intuition is right. And I manage to dodge skill dodge attacks that are incoming and then I manage to counter attack with a Shinbreaker. And then I stagger them and then I continue whack hammering them to death. You know, and then sometimes I need mobility. You know what I'll do? I'll do that. Um, what's that? That jump and kick thing, which allow. <laughs> the and believe me, the only reason why I got that skill is just because, uh, it reminds me of if any of you played uh DMC right, Devil May Cry. Uh, I think yeah, that series right. You have this. Yeah, you see now, Faith stunts procking babies, man. Come, fiery goals, meet your shield. You did that pun. Meet. Shield. <laughs> nah, I'm trying too hard <laughs> to be funny. Yeah, and some of you don't like it. Like, that's this. That joke is disgusting, Momujin. So anyway, ah, uh, DMC, right? Uh, if you do not know, there's this um set of weapons that make Dante sort of kick and punch, do more of like brawler style fighting, and it's called uh let me remember what's it called. Oh, a uh, Beowulf. Yeah, the equipment is called Beowulf. And when he, uh, what happens is when you jump in DMC, you have this uh, there's this attack where you jump in the air and you you kick down, you slash. It's almost like a you kick like diagonally forward and it's like very fast. That is the only re and this paladin here when he does that that attack right, that jump and kick is exactly the same. And that's the only reason why I got that skill. But you know that's not the reason. It actually helps me a lot because um. It it gives me a lot of mobility, which I need in this game. Like sometimes I try to dodge with just by jumping, right? And then I counter attack with a with a kick, that Beowulf style kick. So right now we are we are fighting, we're whacking up a, a full ogre, and I'm like enjoying. I'm like sometimes like right now, right? Like I'm using light like crazy. Sorry, I'm I proc a hey, sorry. Uh, I activate my block, and I know when my block is on cooldown, I'm forced to dodge, and then when I'm forced to dodge, I counter attack. I see I can I see whether I have options to activate my blocks again. No. Then I'll use Faith of Stance and manually see whether when he's gonna attack I press space bar, block and then make another counter attack. Or if both of them are cool down, I just bring up uh what's that that torn shield thing? And then that what's that called? Iron Will, Iron Body, where I I get reduced damage, right? And I try and dodge my way into into killing. I know it doesn't get I mean, I'm nowhere near dying. If you can't tell already, I'm like, it's always it's bad. It doesn't even go below ninety percent, right? But I still have, like, my my blood still boils. I mean, I right now we're at the third stage. The boss, by the way, is hilarious. Um, Chongjie calls me fishball because of the view in the back of my head. This is an eyeball. <laughs> Human. This is like one of the ugliest bosses. At first, right, I was thinking. Oh, I didn't know it was an eye, you know, so I was like, uh, really ugly boss. So yeah, at, so anyway, by when I fight this, right, <laughs> what he does is at the beginning, right, before he hit, before you start attacking him, he does all his physical attacks similar to all the, uh, by the way, the name is eye, evil eye, uh, similar to all those, like, the size holding red color peapot, uh, mobs. So he just all, he just keeps doing these physical skills. Where and then you, I just dodge them, <laughs> and once he's down to like three, three bars HP, he starts using his magic attacks, uh, in conjunction with all his physical attacks. And I tell you, when you block those lasers, I, I don't know, I it's so reminiscent of DMC that I feel really, even though just by dodging skills and not, I'm not even at killing him fast, right? I feel quite boss. I I feel quite a boss, you know. You know what I mean? Like he has this skill where he. He lasers, he his eyes are charged his eye charges I was using eyes and actually technically he does have a lot of eyes. But anyway his eye he charges this beam, right? He shoots down and then he slowly brings it forward in front. I tell you when you dodge that and you counter attack with a shin breaker, that is quite fulfilling man. And especially when la like, and then he has this uh another laser skill where he, he curls up and then he starts charging and then he unleashes like lasers everywhere, right? 
similar to force user but slightly different definitely that's why i like this game they make the mobs um the bosses right the skills they have they don't just copy from um the the skills that we the characters have and they just use it you know they change it up a bit animation different a bit yeah so right now i'm still taking heck a lot of uh time just to kill him but you know what i find you know how i how i finished him off I finish home with a freaking shield charge. Brrr, boom! Then he dies. Sweet, I tell you. I'm just loving this game. So I had to collect on the remaining shards, rune shards. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Ciao.